Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 32 of Need for Speed Underground 2. And in this episode, we are going to switch our cars up back to the 3000 GT, because, yeah. And we're going to do some more racing, because why not? Uh, I have done the outruns, actually. I did do the outruns, which is where the special events, two of the special events came from that are on the map. So, yes, we the outruns are good. Uh, but I guess we'll just... Uh, because we're way up here in the hill still. Um, I guess I could just head back down and we can make a loop around the hills and do some races up here. Something like that. You know? Because uh, I don't really have money to get a new car and upgrade it. So we're sticking with the 3000 GT for now. I'm probably not supposed to drink alcohol with the medications that I've been taking. But then again, like I said, I, I drink once every literally blue moon, so... It hasn't had any bad effects on me yet, so... I think we're okay. Oh! I went past the, the fucking... out The vent. And I think it's just not excessive alcohol in, on those two, so... <clears throat> Bunch of rebels trying to drink with medications you're not supposed to drink on. Damn. That's fucked up. Oh, howdy. No, I don't want to lose. What? Ah. Hello. Eh. Nice nitrous there, bud. I got you real far. <clears throat> Evo. Another car I haven't used yet. So have I not used yet? I've not used the Evo. I should probably do URLs as I go, actually, now I think about it, so I can unlock cars before the game ends. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Let's let me just see if I can grind money, too. Because I might do that for the uh, the last few cars that we haven't driven yet. Yeah, no. Don't ya know. Effort. Yeah, true. <clears throat> hey. Screw off. I don't know, we'll see. I might make episodes a little shorter too, so we can have more episodes to do more stuff, like switch cars and whatnot. I don't know, we'll see. I need money to do that though, still, so. That is still the issue I'm currently facing. God, the game's just like real life. I'm like, ah, I should do this, but I don't have the money to do so. Damn, it feels too real, honestly. But, then again, I do appreciate all of you that have thrown me a, a penny or two on streaming and stuff. I know I say I appreciate a lot, but I, I truly appreciate anybody who uh, goes out of their way to do stuff like that. Obviously, like I've said before, I don't want people to just do it because they feel bad or anything. And uh, especially if you don't have the funds to do so, I really don't want you to do anything. But, you know, I know there's a lot of you that do choose to do it, even, uh, or with money, extra stuff that you have, so, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you. I got a YouTube notification right as I was saying that. <laughs> Let's get property, yeah. I mean, I do have a 99-3000 GT VR4, which is a good start uh, for being out of poverty. I could probably sell this car for like 30, 40 grand if it was nice, honestly. Put on bring a trailer. It'll bring a hot, hot dollar. Hot dollar? I don't think that's right. Ow. A pretty penny. Maybe is what I was trying to say. I don't know. I don't know how to speak English. 
It may look like I do, but I really don't. <laughs> I... If I sold all my cars, I could have a moderate amount of money. Which is why I'm trying to sell one of my cars at the moment. By the way, if anybody wants to buy a 93 Toyota Celsius, you know who to call. Or message, or yell at, or something. I don't know. <clears throat> $15,000? I've never... I, the only times I've heard of a $15,000 paint job is if you have, like, a fucking, like, Duesenberg or something that you want to have, like, in Pebble Beach. The average, like, I think an expensive paint job for, like, an average car would be, like, four or five grand. That's on the expensive side, so... 15k is not what you would pay for an actual, like, good paint job for a, uh, you know, an, uh, a good average paint job is what I should say. Something like that. Like, that's like a restoration, almost. You know, where they take everything off and then repaint every every little thing. Door jams and whatever else. Yeah. Sounds like somebody just did not want to paint your car, basically. That is ridiculous. Definitely don't get your, get your car repainted for 15 grand. Even if you're doing like a full on restoration, I still wouldn't do that. Oh god, ow. Let me win. I appreciate that the the race started like right where the event was on the map. That's interesting. Usually that doesn't happen. Go! Yay! I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a, a URL per episode or something from now on. I don't know. Things look a little laggy. I apologize if they are. I don't know if they are or not. I can't tell. All right. Let's, uh, so we do have a URL down that way. You know, let's just, let's do the URL real quick. That's the right one, right? Was that the right one? Yes, that is the correct one. Okay, let's go. Like, you could almost buy a brand new car with a brand new paint job from the factory for that much money. Specifically... Cheap cars, but that's fine. I mean, it's a, it's a Corolla you're talking about, so like, you know. Not saying a Corolla is a bad car; it's just a cheaper car. I was actually looking at that generation of Corolla for a bit to like buy as like a daily driver, and I was like, oh, I don't have money, so I stopped looking at them. Hello, excuse me. I would like to catch up to this eclipse, I think. Pretty sure it's an eclipse. Eclipse. Now ah, get off the grass. Hello, gamer. But yeah, I wasn't really a fan, or I haven't been a fan of the newest generation of Corolla, but like the, the that generation, the generation before, not bad, honestly. Late 90s, yeah, those are pretty good too. They all are, really. They are all uh, fairly reliable, no matter what generation you get. I just like the styling of like the the early 2010s ones. 
And you can also get them with the, the big fast specs, you know? Well, not big fast, but like the... I think there was still a Corolla XRS in that generation, too. With the... Uh, whatever the hell it was. The Matrix engine? The same thing that was in the Matrix XRS? Corolla XRS? I don't know. Something like that. It has a 6-speed manual with it, too. Which is pretty cool. Eh. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, jeez. We're fine. Big turn. Big turnies, honestly. Uh, hey, there we go. Very nice. We got three laps, which just means it's going to be, what, three races? I think somebody said. I don't remember. There's going to be more multiple races for sure. I'll tell you that much. Sports kit, yeah. Yeah, it's basically my feelings. That generation of Corolla looked good. Newer generation does not look good. I was gonna have my old Ford Ranger repainted at one point too, and it didn't happen. So that was fun. Why are you all passing me on the last lap, you assholes? I really hate that the AI does that. They were ran on the last lap. It's incredibly fucking annoying. Oh, wow, yeah, thanks. And you can't catch up no matter what, which is pretty cool. Alright, fourth place, cool. Very nice. Exactly what I wanted, very nice. <sighs> Next race. You have to literally, like, you have to block. And I just didn't think about it, so I guess we're just continuing on. Fuck it, let's go to easy mode. Nah, I'm not gonna do that at the very end. I mean, I, I could, but... Yeah, the rubber ending is really never in your favor in this game. And I mean, my car is pretty much fully upgraded. It's not like I'm like missing upgrades or anything. A little bit, but not enough to fucking warrant that, of all things. It's a little silly. Hello, gamer. Goodbye, gamers. Do you mind, bastard? Also, you took away my power sliding points for some reason. I don't know how. Usually the AI does not do that. All right, we're saving nitrous, by the way. Saving nitrous for the last lap. This is a rubber band on the last lap. That's perfectly understandable, too. Car payments are whack. I've never actually had one myself, even. I almost did, but I didn't. I think I talked about that at one point. In one of these videos. Underground 2 videos. Something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> go away? Like, honestly? Perfectly honestly? I will spin you out, bitch. Ah, oh, God, they're all up here now. Come on. Although then again, <clears throat> I have my eyes on a couple of uh, 
new cars that I am vaguely interested in, at least. And by cars, I mean trucks, because I'm a f silly American who likes trucks, you little bastard. That's what you get. Fuck off! Go away! A little car for the vengeance. Yeah. Yeah, our, our car market has really gone ridiculous. In the last, like, year or two. The Maverick is... It's... It's intriguing. I like the Maverick. You know? I think it has gotten last, by the way, because... Oh, well, I could pass that car. You know what we're doing? We're restarting the race, because... Yeah, we're restarting the race. This is slightly stupid. Can I... I wonder about something. Nope. I would have to restart this whole thing. Can't change difficulty, by the way. Oh, very good. Uh, I want to win, please. <clears throat> Why must this actually be so difficult? Specifically at the end of the races is the annoying part. Like, if it was hard all the way through, yeah, whatever. But it's it's not. I mean, it is. there is some difficulty to the earlier parts of the races, but it's always the end of the race that they just destroy me. And I am not ready for that. to adjust my stuff. I don't think it's weird to name your cars. I know a lot of people who do that. I just don't have the brain power to do it myself, so I don't. Mirror clips, you little bastard. I want to pass you before the end of the lap. There we go. I want that nitrous. That sucks. I went way too fast in that turn. That works actually. <clears throat> ah! Alright, I can farm some nitrous off the Evo. <laughs> oh. Poor golf. But yeah, my cells here. Ends up being the silver car a lot of times if I describe it to somebody. Then uh, my Dodge Ram is the truck. Or my Ram. Uh, TC is just a TC. That's all it's ever referred to as. Uh, and my Intrepid is the Intrepid. That is the names of my cars. That is what I call them. Like I said, I just don't have the brain power for it. I can understand that. If it was on the uh, the cheaper side, I would guess it's probably not the uh, not the most pristine example, to say the least. All right, first place coming in lap three again. I would like to complete this race in first place, please. So down here, so I can actually make this turn correctly. Ish. That works. Okay. I really have to pay attention behind me. This is going to be a fun episode to edit, by the way. Hi, how's it going? Oh, I just gave the Eclipse for, for second place. That's cool. Evo, please. Evolution. I would like to be in front of the Audi, please. All the Audis. 
because there's multiple. Come on, let me draft off you, get some points, and some speed. Mm, I don't think that's happening. God, it's so fast! What the fuck? Alright, I don't know where the Eclipse is, but it's behind me somewhere. And it's not the next car behind me, so... We'll try this. Hi, how's it going? You're not gonna pass me. Please say I won. Please. Okay, the Eclipse was too... I think we tied, actually. We did... Did that work? I got $7,000. Did that actually... Did I win, technically? I guess I did. All right, thank goodness. Holy crap! All right, we got new uh, new inventory in the car lot, which is fantastic. And holy shit, we finally did it. Uh, I'm gonna do one more race for this episode. By the way, one more race, which will be this circuit or not circuit? Yeah, this is circuit race. I'm in. I don't know how that worked. Uh, even though it put me in second technically, I guess because I tied for first, I got first, which is pretty cool. Even though it didn't look like I did. Alright. Circuit. Blah, blah, blah. Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wearing seatbelts and stuff is a very good idea. Having safety equipment and using it is very, very smart. So very good. Sad about the cars, but... The person in the car is the more important part. One hundred percent. <clears throat> Holy shit! That was wacky. Wall ride? Wall ride? I like it. I like it. Here I am talking about safety equipment when I have a Chrysler that doesn't even have an airbag. It does have seatbelts, but it does not have an airbag. Because it was not mandatory to have an airbag in 1989, it turns out. In 1990 you had to have an airbag or a, uh, a power operating seatbelt, which was silly. You know, most manufacturers just went for the airbag because it was a lot easier to try and integrate into a steering wheel compared to trying to figure out a seatbelt track. <clears throat> but no airbag in my car. Celsius has an airbag though on the driver's side. Not on the passenger side, but on the driver's side it does. I have a full glove box instead of the, uh, the half glove, glove box that my LS400 had. Which is useful for all the two times per year I use it, at most. Aw. Rest in peace, Sarah and Megan. Hey, Tris. Let's see if that's gonna go. Oh. Turning. Oh, fuck. Don't go that way. Ow. I mean... Don't go in the middle. Wall ride? Wall ride? Question mark? Oh! Oh! That sucks. Uh, I don't think you missed much. You missed me getting absolutely punted right there. Actually, you probably didn't miss that because I think that was after you posted, or like when you posted the message. So you probably just saw that. God damn it! When wall riding doesn't work out. I'm here, you little bastards. I'm well. I'm on lap two or three. I thought it was lap three for some reason. Ah, okay. I think I might still even pass him at the end. <clears throat> 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why the delay is there. I guess it's just something to do with my computer nearly dying earlier. Who knows? I don't. But as long as the stream's coming through fine, I'm not too worried about it. Having a lower delay would be nice, but not super necessary for a decent streaming experience or stream watching experience. Huh? Is it really 30 seconds, too? That sucks. Damn. Nitrous. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm trying to actually take this correctly this time, maybe. That'd probably be a pretty good idea. correctly ish yeah no maybe I won't wall ride this time also haha you just wall tap and it works kind of funny you said that Ooh, 19 seconds mine's pretty far behind too actually I look at it I don't know It'll definitely be fixed for the next stream, because I'm assuming it's just something with OBS. Until I, like, restart OBS or something. I don't know. But it will definitely be fixed for the next stream. Like I said, I'm thinking... Maybe thinking Phasmophobia for tomorrow's stream. Do some VR streaming, which will be fun. And I'll shit my pants, because Ghost is be. Uh, ow. Yeah, yeah. Like, if it was, like, super stuttery or something, I would also be more apt to, like, trying to fix it right now. But if it's still smooth, I am not too worried about it, which it looks definitely smooth on my screen, so... Uh, oh, you mean the, the VR chat ones, the old ones? Because, yeah, those are uh, classics, you know? Absolute classics. Alright. Two grand. And, I believe, we have unlocked some stuff. A carbon trunk. Oh, boy. So, we got new, the last of the uh, different kinds of body upgrades. Unlocking. And uh, we are at 50, 57, 75% done with the game as of now. My hand is losing feeling in my pinky for some reason. Uh, but for those of you watching on YouTube, this will be the end of this episode. Not the stream. The stream's not over yet, by the way, still. But, uh, yeah. Thank you to all you on YouTube for watching. Here's our various stats. Obviously, we got to do all this stuff, too, as well. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching on YouTube, and I will see you all in the next episode.